good evening anup vishnu uh, your interview is given as which date for your have you received the letter for interview anup vishnu yes sir acha which date you have been given interview uh, i didn't get the interview date acha acha what is your cell phone number uh 8289 49282 49282 so i have given you 11 o'clock tomorrow as time yeah <laughs> yeah yes sir it's good that you take it now somebody has not come today very good anup vishnu you are from acha please tell me about yourself so am i visible now yeah you are visible <laughs> i am only with uh, bunny i am only with bunny and it's okay come on let me come oh no <laughs> even i am too sir <laughs> tell me tell me good v- very uh, rarely boys come like that and uh, um, i am really appreciating you please tell me about yourself okay sir uh, good evening sir myself anu pishnu um i am from ernakulam district uh, kerala exactly saying i am just 20 minutes away from the founding uh founding person of the central bank uh yeah. so yeah uh, i completed my post graduation yeah. from sri this, center this sentence is not at all right i mean okay. you you wanted to say i am 20 minutes away from the residence of the founder of federal bank correct okay okay that's yeah. what you wanted to say yes sir but you were not able to tell that clearly in your uh, emotion you know you could not tell it clearly now try okay. again now try again that one try try but yeah. even that that point okay you can tell that you sir, mean the founder necessary? founder means that kp hormis yeah yeah kp hormis then better tell then better tell that's yeah. good that's really not everybody can say so, so okay. uh, uh-huh. but use proper words and send try again start from the beginning okay sir good evening sir i am anup vishnu i am from uh, ernakulam district of kerala exactly saying ankamali which is uh, 20 minutes away from the uh, residence of uh, the founder kp hormis of federal bank mr kp hormis late mr okay, so, kp sorry hormis. whatever okay. it is uh, okay good nice continue uh, i completed my post graduation in commerce specialized in finance from sri shankara college kaladi the birthplace of sri shankaracharya and my college is affiliated to mahatma gandhi university kottayam after my post graduation completion i underwent a two year diploma in elementary education course which is for a teacher training course and i got a training uh, in several schools as a teacher and uh, after that um, i started preparing for competitive examinations since i didn't find a better career opportunities in teaching i i wanted to join a service sector so i opted uh, banking as my career op- option mm, my hobbies include uh, singing basically i'm a singer professional singer oh. for past several years acha yes, good great Eva. great 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 thank you sir great you feel tell that they will ask you to sing for one minute Yeah, sure, sir. Can you sing now some excellent yeah, sure. song, some fast-moving song? So, which language is required? Any language, any language. Okay. Uh, music, music sorry. has no language. Okay, sir. Okay, uh, so I would like to sing a Tamil song. Is it okay? No problem. It's a melody Or song. A, no problem. Sing. Kalyana te nila. காதல் கண்ணிலாயம் மண்ணிலா கல்யாணத்தின் Superb. 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 Very good. 
you, you know, it happened like this for a candidate from West Bengal. She told me her hobby is singing. Then I wanted her to sing. She sang. And she was asked the very same song in Kolkata. That was a campus recruitment. She sang. She got into Federal Bank as officer now. I wish you also get selected. Thank Good. You, now, um, what is the post-graduation you did, you said? Sorry. Uh, I completed uh, commerce. M Masters in Commerce and it's specialized in finance. Excellent, excellent. Good. Um, which year was the completion? Uh, 2020. Actually, I completed the course in 2020, but uh, uh, I, I went for a revaluation regarding my final semester's marks. I wanted to increase some of, some of the marks. So it took uh, about 2021. Mm. I got my certificates by 2021. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Good, good, good. What is your family? My father, uh, he worked uh, as a uh, marketing executive in a books publication, uh, one of the famous uh, publication company, Payan Company. But mm -hmm. uh, after that, um, uh, he stopped his work because he wanted to travel a lot. So due to some health issues, he uh, voluntarily retired from his job and he joined as a priest in a temple. No, no, but don't mix two, three things. One, he retired. Two, he is having ill health. Three, he wanted to go for traveling. Then he became a priest. Instead, you better say he worked in that company. After retirement, he is now a priest. Okay. That will go well. Okay, good, 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 good. Very nice. Yarnakulam boy, very nice place. It's a nice place. I like it. I have been there for nearly two months in the entire year of my life. Duration of my life. It's a nice place. I used to stay in what is that hotel? Mm, Bharat Tourist Home. Okay. Darbar Hall Road. Are you aware of that? Yeah. Darbar? That is a place. Yeah, I have been there. Achha, achha. Good. Yeah, very nice. Now, you have studied MCOM. Unfortunately, questions will be tough for you. Yeah. Please tell me what is meant by authorized capital? Um, authorized capital means uh, the capital uh, planned for a particular, starting a particular firm. Uh, it's uh, a particular firm will decide a particular amount of capital to start a venture that's called authorized capital. Authorized capital is the amount which has been uh, permitted by the registrar of companies yeah. by the companies to raise from the market. Okay. If you want, you bet, search it and then try to get it. Did you go through that 20 pages material I gave you? Yeah, uh, I, I I haven't completed, but I took some of the terms from that, sir. Achha, achha. Good. I, I have taken a print of that and uh, I'm covering it. Please tell me about trial balance. Uh, trial balance is a, it's a it's a statement that we are preparing where the uh, debit and credit balances uh, are shown and uh, using the trial balance we are preparing the finance final statements like profit and loss account and uh, the balance sheet. Now why should we take periodically trial balance? Sorry, sorry, sir. Why should we take trial balance frequently at a regular intervals yeah so it's actually we are generalizing each and every transactions uh, happening in a particular firm so after that we take it into a ledger accounts so uh, a transaction frequently happens in a particular organization so uh, i think that trial balance should be prepared in such a periodic interval no no actual reason is in order to ensure the accuracy, if there are any mathematical errors, we can try to rectify them. Could you follow? Yes, sir. One second, sir. Can I write it down? Yeah, please write down. Trial balance is taken in order to see, uh, verify the, I mean, trial balance is uh, jotting down the debit and credit balances of general ledger as on a particular date. And 
uh, bo both sides should tally. If it doesn't right. tally, that will tell us that there is some arithmetical error and and frequently taking trial balance will help us to identify where the error is or rectify the error. Okay. Okay, sir. Good. Please tell me what is a stale check? Hello. M M what is a stale check? Sorry, sir. Hello. What is a stale check? Uh, a stale check is that uh, there will be a particular duration for that check, and after that, the, the particular check won't be valid anymore. It is known as a stale check. Mm -hmm. No, no. What did you say? After a stale check is one, what? Uh, the check which is will be uh, given for a particular uh, time period. Wrong, so right. after that, what? Wrong, wrong, wrong. A stale check is one which is dated three months prior to the date of today's date. Today's date is 28th of August. If you have a check dated 27th August 2023 or a date prior to that, that is known as a stale check. Three months only a check is valid. Understand? Okay. Yeah. No, okay. What is a yes, post sir, yes, sir. what is a post dated check? You have not Sorry, studied all, you have not studied all this. What is a post dated check? Hello. Um sorry, sir. I'm not prepared. Post, -date. post dated means Hello? check is date check is dated future date. For example, today you get a check dated 29th August. 2023 that is a post dated check understand i think you have not prepared okay. your mcom okay. questions properly yeah i'm preparing i haven't properly done i'm doing it sir what are intangible assets intangible assets uh, basically the assets are classified into tangible assets and intangible assets uh, the assets which don't have a physical existence is known as intangible assets. Uh, goodwill uh, is one of the examples for intangible assets. Goodwills, patents and rights. Yeah, patents and trademarks. Yeah. Please tell me what are fictitious assets? Hello? What are fictitious assets? Fictitious assets are basically the type of, a, type of an asset and... Uh, Hello. Fictitious Hello? assets. Fictitious assets. Hello. Yeah, tell me, tell me. Fictitious assets. Yeah. So fictitious assets are uh, another type of assets, and. Uh, no, no. You can yeah, go. Uh, you can go from the example. So um, I have Exam prepared. example of fictitious assets is preliminary expenses discount on issue of shares, debit balance in the profit and loss account. When shown in the asset side of the balance sheet, they are known as fictitious assets. Okay? Okay, okay sir. This is available in the material I have given you, page number yes. four. Okay. Now, uh, I, I am very thankful to you for coming today instead of tomorrow's session, but tell me what have you prepared? So regarding the interview? Yeah. Yeah, um, so I just started my preparation with regard to my commercial terms. And uh, after that, I went to the federal basics of uh, federal banks. I checked uh, the websites and collected some of the details and prepared on that. And uh, I went to through some of the abbreviations given uh, from the materials given by you, sir. Mm -hmm. That's really and, good. Uh, some of the, yeah. And uh, yes. I learned regarding some of the uh, rates of the banks. So, mm -hmm. good. Now, let me test you. I will ask a few abbreviations and let me see whether you are able to remember them and answer me. <laughs> okay, good. 
Can you expand CPI? Uh, CPI, Consumer Price Index. First class. Good. Can you yes, sir. tell me what is ECGC? I'm sorry, sir. I don't know. Export Credit Guarantee Corporation. Export Credit Guarantee Corporation. Corporation. Can Corporation. you expand EPF? Employees Provident Function. Good. That is correct. Can you tell me? One minute. This is not moving. There's some problem in it's moving. Yeah. Can you tell me? Um, What is GPD? Gross what? Gross primary deficit. I was not aware of that, sir. That's right, sir. No problem. Absolutely no problem. What is IDBI? Uh, Industrial Development Bank of India, sir. Correct. Which uh, which Financial organization is having major shares in it in mm, sorry, IDBI. Sir. It is LIC. Sorry, sir, it is LIC. Okay, sir. It's okay, fine. Have you heard of this abbreviation? I don't think you would have heard. NABARD. What is it? National Bank for Agricultural and Rural Development. Very good. What is NEFT? Uh, uh, sir, I was aware, but I cannot explain it right now. I'm National sure. Electronic Fund Transfer. Yes. National Electronic Electron Fund, Fund Transfer. Transfer. What is okay. the expansion of IMPS? Sorry, sir, I don't know. What is this? Immediate Payment Service. That's all. Achha, I thought you would have prepared for this because you said you studied all this. Now, coming to our um, Federal Bank, did you go through some of the glossary terms? Yeah, actually, I went through the innovations. I mean, uh, the digital innovations, some of the digital innovations, and I went through the core values and uh, some of the key personals. Yeah, please tell me, the... tell me about what all you studied about Federal Bank. Yeah. Federal Bank established in 1931 by uh, K.P. Hormis. And uh, yeah, it was initially uh, started as uh, providing uh, loans and support to the farmers and uh, local peoples and all. And uh, uh, Federal Bank is basically very much focused about the digital uh, sector. I mean, uh, several digital innovations are brought by Federal Bank. And uh, it has been also considered as a great place to work. As the as the tagline, <laughs> one of the more important uh, focus is given a digital what, at what, the fore. What is the uh, what is the tagline? Digital at the fore, human at the core. Very good, 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 good. There is one more tagline. Uh, perfect banking partner. You are perfect banking. Partner. Ah, your perfect banking partner. Sorry. Good, correct, good. But well, what else you could know about federal bank? And uh, the uh, the major thing is about care, the cares, the core values, and uh, it includes the commitment, agility, uh, relationship orientation, ethics, and uh, sustainability. And uh, the managing director and CEO uh, is uh, Shyam Srinivasan. And yeah, that's all. That's all, sir. Good. And some of the okay. Sir. Do you remember the figures? <laughs> Deposit figures, advance figures, and all. One, uh, I think it's almost one crore sixty-six like something. Uh, account holders are there in with regard to federal bank. Correct. One crore yeah, 1, sixty-six. One crore sixty-six lakhs. Correct. Okay, sir. One thousand three hundred and eighty-five branches. I think, if I'm not. Correct. Then. That's also. You are not studied the. Profit figure or deposit figure, advance figure? No, 
No, sir. Uh, I, I have given I have given you in the material itself in the one hundred and thirteen pages question paper. In that itself, I have given. Yes, sir. I will check. Who that, is sir. the governor of RBI now? Shakti Kanta Das, sir. Who was there prior to him? Sorry. Who was the governor of Reserve Bank prior to Mr. Shakti Kanta Das? Um, it so was Urjit Patel. Urjit Patel. Okay. Urjit Patel. Okay. Okay, sir. Urjit Patel. No problem. Can you? You are an MCOM graduate. You must be able to write an essay on role of banking in economic development. I want okay, you sir. to talk for only one minute. Role of banking in economic development. This question they have asked in one of the interviews in okay. campus recruitment on second June. 2023. Okay. Tell me. Yeah. So, uh, banking is one of the major. Uh, banking is holding a major share in the uh, service sector uh, in every country. For the development of each and every country, banking is an, is a, is very much required. As we all know, the basic uh, basic functions of a bank is accepting deposits and lending. Uh, lending uh, uh, for whoever the person requires that. Uh, apart from that, it clearly contributes to the development of a particular nation. Uh, it has a great role uh, in the economy of a nation, especially when it comes to the uh, case of India. As we all know that uh, uh, a great step towards the nationalization of banks uh, uh, brought into a greater participation into the economy also. Uh, there are several, uh, when we check the several rates regarding uh, the banking, uh, repo rate, reverse repo rate, statutory liquidity ratio, all these ratio, when we check on, which, when we check regarding all these ratio, we can clearly know that uh, most of these rates are uh, handled or controlled by the central bank, that is the Reserve Bank of India, to, to, to control the liquidity, uh, to control the inflation, and also to manage the economy in a stable manner. And uh, the participation of each and every banks, whether it is private as well as nationalized, is clearly good. visible. Good, good, sufficient. Good. I'm happy about what you said. Now I will give you one more you. last question. Please tell me, what are the benefits digitalization of banks has brought? Digitalization of banks what are the okay. benefits it has brought for the bank, for the customers? Yeah. So first of all, I would like to say uh, in from the viewpoint of the customer. So yeah. as we all know, yeah, as we all know that, uh, especially India is having a several rural rural regions where the people from the rural areas are not able to reach to the urban area. So, so it's a great issue for them. So depositing um, amount or uh, creating an account is very it's a far-reaching dream for several people from the rural areas so digitalization has brought a greater impact into the lives of not only uh, rural people as well as urban even if we are using our mobile phones we can clearly use this mobile phone and pay the amount it's yeah. a greater innovation and in no, one point is see the point you want to tell is by virtue of digitalization banks have been brought closer to the people. This is the point. Why are you okay. telling that in a very circuitous route? Okay. Sorry. Do you, do you understand the mistake you are doing? Yes, sir. Yeah. Now continue. I'm explaining Next. a lot. Ah, it's not a thing. <laughs> there is no Sorry, need sir. for explaining that. We simply tell the point that you have in mind because they are going to be with you for 10 minutes, 15 minutes maximum. Within that time, you should create an excellent impression about you. So come on, tell some more points. Yeah. Points so, only I want. Tell me the points. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So first thing is uh, convenience. Customers are conveniently able to open an account and uh, payments may payments made easier. Customers can easily make the payments through the digitalization process. And one of the innovation made by Federal Bank also, people, the customers can open their accounts just by using their mobile phone and having their Aadhaar card and PAN card. So 
this is one of the greatest impact uh, brought to the customers when it comes to bank uh, most of the functions of banks become much more lighter and easier uh, especially with regard to the uh, account holders and checking their or verification processes where with regarding to loan uh, all those uh, processes become much more lighter and uh, that's See, all I can say, sir. How nicely it is given here. Convenience, increased efficiency, better customer experience, improved security, lower costs, enhanced data analysis, increased competition, faster payment processing. That's all. All the points that you said are also covered here in and the points have been told briefly. In interviews, you can't be talking this much length. Just tell, um, say, uh, digitalization has enabled faster payment processing. It has given increased competition among the banks uh, and also helped enhance the data analysis. Further, it has lowered the cost and it has improved the security. That is, people need not carry cash, go and come. Then better customer experiences. And it has increased the efficiency. That is, the cost incurred also is very low. And it is more convenient. Pe banks are brought to the houses of the people directly. Like that, you can say. Understand? Okay. Sir. Good. Yes, sir. You, you did extremely well for your interview. Especially because tomorrow I gave interview and you took for you were willing to take the risk of coming one day earlier. That is a good initiative on your part. Number two, you, you want you were bold enough to come in video. That is second. This boldness has come to you because you have the habit of singing on the stage. <laughs> Public participation. That is the reason. I wish you success. And you sang very well that song. Kalyan. Thank what you, is that? What is that one line? Kalyana Tenila. No, again, one or few. Uh, Kalyana Tenila. Ka no, no, sing, sing, sing properly. Please sing, sing. Please sing. Tenila. Kacha the Panila. Nida neva nila inodu vanila etregatha class nu varaaru peya davinila unkadal kannila tamil aga nila kalyanamila sir is it enough superb superb See, Thank this you. is th this quality of you are not having shyness will help you in your interview. Thank you, sir. That, sir, that, that's sir, what can has, I ask you one doubt? That's what has helped that girl in, from Kolkata also. She is now as an officer in Federal Bank. Yeah, now tell me. Tell uh, me what sir, I, uh, yeah. sir, with regard to my commerce uh, knowledge. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yeah, tell me, tell me. Mm. Yeah, uh, with regard to my commerce knowledge, how much I have to improve? Is it worse or should I improve? I will, I will rate it at 50% now. You have to improve it okay. to 900%. Okay, sir. No, I'm not. Uh, you are, number one, you are very good in confidence. Then, uh, say, uh, talking to people, convincing others, everything will be good. Your other points regarding Federal Bank was also very good. But only in respect of uh, commerce, Uttana practice nahi hai aapko. So you have to practice. Okay, you have sure, to sir. read. And don't yeah. believe my 20 pages material only. There can be some more metric questions also. Please prepare okay. deeply. Okay. okay. okay I, I will rate this interview. Other things remaining constant. Nine... Point five, though you have you. not answered some questions correctly, that is different. Yeah. Best wishes. Thank you, sir. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, sir.